This is it. Let's go. Open up Mod Organizer 2. Now open a browser window and search for Nemesis on Nexus Mods. Visit the Files tab and click Mod Manager Download. Once downloaded, double click the download to begin installation. Click the Manual button on the pop-up to ensure the data is valid and click OK. Ensure you enable them. Now visit the Data tab. Hit Refresh to see the Nemesis folders. Open the Nemesis Engine folder and find the application. Right-click and select Add as Executable. From the drop-down tab, select Edit. Check the binary paths are correct. The binary will be your Nemesis application. Your start in will be the folder it's located in. Now open Nexus Mods and download Race Menu, an XP32 Maximum Skeleton Special Extended. This will require either Nemesis or Finis, along with SKSE and Race Menu, which we now have. Once downloaded, double click each to install. Click Manual and ensure the data path is valid. With XP32, a pop-up box will appear. Now this is important. Under Animation Rig Map, select Latest. Click Next. Select Race Menu, the third option. We have not installed any mods required for other options. If you choose to install them later, you will need to reinstall XP32 and select the appropriate options. Now launch Nemesis. Click OK on the two pop-up windows that will appear. Only select the mods here if you have them installed already. They do not install them for you, as we don't have any. Leave them blank and click Update Engine. Now click Launch Nemesis. You can close this window. Under Plugins, scroll to the bottom of the list and enable the Finis ESP. This has a strike through it, as it's a dummy plugin that Nemesis needs to run. You will notice the Overwrite folder is flagged. Open the Overwrite folder. These are the files generated by Nemesis after we launched it a moment ago. Right-click on the Overwrite folder, select Create Mod, give this the name Nemesis Output and click OK. This parcels those files together into its own mod, which will keep your overwrite folder clean. Enable this new mod. Now to order them. Thanks to our categories we created in the previous episode, this will be much easier. Nemesis is to be placed under Animation Framework. Under that, we'll go XP32. Race Menu is to go under Overhaul and UI. And our new mod for Nemesis output files will go here. Under the download section, right click and you can select Hide Installed to tidy up the window. Add a shortcut for Nemesis, like so. It's time for a few must have mods. Visit Nexus Mods and download the following USS EP, a staple for many mods you will want and contains more fixes than you believe. Static Mesh Improvement Mod, improving the overall texture qualities throughout the Skyrim world. Alternate Start, start your new games without the long intro and choose your character's situation. Cutting Room Floor, restoring all the content created for Skyrim but removed before the game's launch. Weapons, Armor, Clothing, Clutter Fixes targeting a number of pesky bugs and issues with items in-game. Book covers for Skyrim. Immersion is everything. Small elements make a big difference. JK Skyrim, a complete overhaul of all the towns and cities, bringing them to life with detail. Address library for SKSE plugins. Behind the scenes, yet very important. Papyrus utility. Behind the scenes again, a mod you won't know you really need. With those downloaded, you can begin their installation one at a time by double-clicking. 
With this exact list, you don't need to alter any selections within the pop-up boxes for now. Once installed, ensure you enable them by checking the boxes to the left of the mod names. And now, their order. USS EP will be first under Bug Fixes. Static Mesh Improvement mod will be placed under Overhaul and UI due to the scale of the mod. Place Alternate Start under USS EP and Cutting Room Floor under Alternate Start. Address Library and Papyrus Utility are both important utilities the game will use from the very beginning. I suggest placing these first as they will work on the foundation of the game, but ensure Papyrus is after Address Library as it requires Address Library to work. JK Skyrim will go under Cities and Towns. Book Covers under Visual Textures. Weapons, Armor and Clothing will go under Clothing Adjustments for now, but this may move further up the list depending on any clothing or weapon mods that use it. Now you may notice the Cutting Room Floor mod is highlighted in purple. Now that's a great color for sure, but why? It means it's overwriting something and we need to work out what. Under Plugins, click Sort. Scroll down the list and see if we have any information as to why it's happening. Aha! Under JK Skyrim, you can see a patch is required for Cutting Room Floor. Visit Nexus Mods and visit the Files tab of JK Skyrim. In this case, Arthmore's Patch Pack. Download this to your Mod Manager and double-click to begin. Now it's warning you that this is already installed. Strange, it clearly isn't. This is actually because of a default naming system, as this patch pack will default to the name JK Skyrim and not JK Skyrim patch pack. And we already have a JK Skyrim, the actual mod. A simple error that you should not ignore, or you may end up removing key files from JK Skyrim. All you need to do is click rename and it becomes clear. Change the name to include cutting room floor patch and click OK. Check the box to enable a pop-up window will appear. Now you need to select individual patches as at this moment we only have the one mod conflicting. Click Next. Cutting room floor should be checked as it has been detected. Leave the others blank. Move this patch beneath the last of the two it patches. In this case, JK Skyrim, as CRF is higher up. Placing the patch between the two mods or even above the two mods will stop it from doing anything as the mods haven't been loaded in yet. Make sure the plugin in the plugin section is enabled too. Still purple? In this case, a simple restart of MO2 is required to update the changes and it's no longer highlighted, and your setup is now ready for your own personal touches. Now that's a perfect time for a brew.